I'm a doctoral research scholar at the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Uh, before I start my presentation, I would like to restate what Dr. Glenn Ballard has uh, made uh, in the first session, uh, for opening session of uh, Industry Day, that uh, lean should be the uh, way organization work, not their projects work. So it is um, important, uh, the focus is to, the importance is organizational culture is an important factor to sustain lean. So the outline is, I'll just give an introduction to my uh, the uh, organizational culture and uh, we'll uh, go through the literatures available and then the research objective, methodology, uh, findings, discussion and then conclusion. So uh, to start with, uh, lean construction uh, is perceived as one of the business improvement strategy. Some scholars say it as a business model and some uh, consider it as a uh, business tool. So there is uh, after the uh, publish, uh, pub I mean after the book, uh, the machine that cha uh, machine that changed the world is published. There is a popularity of lean, and it has been implemented in many companies. But if we see uh, lean construction, the I mean, the, there are few organization that has sustained lean in the longer run. So when we see this uh, Jeffrey Likers uh, 4P model, we can see that people and partners is one of the important uh, components. Uh, in this Toyota Way model, this is the business model for Toyota, which, uh, Toyota Way, in which we can see this respect for people is one of the pillar uh, for the organization and which uh, dilutes to you know respect and teamwork. So the, I, what I want to highlight from this is like organizational culture that uh, that is made of people is one of the most important uh, focus area for research and for uh, in, uh, in order to sustain lean. So the literature states that in the last two decades, uh, there are few organizations that actually succeeded in sustaining lean, and about 60 to 90 percent of lean change initiatives failed, which is associated with the organizational culture. So when we see the lean barriers, literature has stated so many uh, uh, so many barriers, which start from top management resistance, le lack of leadership, lack of involvement, communication gap, lack of commitment. These all barriers actually boils down to the organizational culture. I'm not stating, uh, the literature states that one of the reasons for not sustaining lean is organizational culture. So when we see the process of change management, uh, there is a model which has been given by Tor, uh, Hitesh Basin, which says that for any change, uh, any change, the first there is a denial saying, no, I don't want this change. And then there is something called resistance where you actually try, we should apply it or not. And then to the stage of exploring, where actually uh, people try to uh, implement and then see. If you could remember in uh, in uh, uh, in Mr. Ro uh, what is name? Ron Ronan Barak's uh, presentation on the Industry Day first presentation, he said in the in the lean uh, journey in the lean journey panel, he said the tither way in which he say uh, he used the word lean desert. So what happened is like when he joined as a lean coach, he implemented it in the uh, industry and the, in the uh, company. And after some time, there were no lean practices. After two three years, then he rest, uh, then they, then they restarted implementing lean. So that is a lean desert period. So we can actually relate it to the exploring stage. And then if once this commitment we achieve, there is a continuous improvement. That is where uh, it becomes a habit of the organization. So if we see the literature says this is how where we are, we actually in lean, we are getting, we are exploring it and then coming back and just leaving it. There is no commitment or there is, it is not a way of doing things. Okay, so uh, if you remember yesterday, uh, Ishwan has presented a, a paper in which he was uh, talking about three stages. The stage one, he was saying the physical manifestation in which he said like there are lean tools. Okay, when people used to, I mean, the, the organization uses some few lean tools and then uh, the second stage is uh, behavior. So they try to use lean tools and then he goes to uh, the uh, strategy. So that is the business model. So after this exploring stage, it is important for the organization to implement uh, to implement uh, lean from the uh, top from the top organization level. So sorry. So it should be it is important to understand the lean philosophy concept and then planning. It should be coming from the business model, the vision, mission, strategy. After the planning, you should go to the process, the appropriate process you have to uh, you know have to use, and then it goes through the culture. That is how it becomes a habit. So it, there is a need to understand what is organization culture. And then, then we have to establish a lean culture. We have to understand and under, uh, establish lean culture, and then the lean culture should be uh, should be aligned with the organizational culture. 
So uh, just brief about what is organizational culture and the assessment models. Okay, so uh, when we say what is organizational culture, the popular definition, definition is by Edgar Skeen. Uh, so I just uh, briefly I will say that it's, it's a organizational culture is a shared belief of a group of people according to which they perceive, act, and react. So when we say organizational culture, it's like an iceberg in which uh, in in which this is the uh, this is the part of the tip of the iceberg which you can see and in which we can uh, in which the vision strategy shared values goals everything is there and this is the way we say uh, we say we get things done but the way we really get things done is something here there's a belief shared assumptions this is the main the culture this is the uh, it is the hidden part and this is how this is where we should actually focus so uh, when we uh, try to assess the organizational culture models, there are a lot of models. Uh, I'm just I'm stating the, uh, the famous one is Hobbes' dimensions of culture. And he also talks about the national culture and Daniel Dennison's model, uh, Edgar Skin model. There are so many models So in which actually I have done this as an exploratory study to understand the what organizational culture in a construction industry. So I have adopt, uh, opted for, oh, sorry, opted for Kim Cameron and Ru uh, Robert Quinn's model. Also, before that, uh, before I explain my research, uh, just me give you what is lean culture. What uh, what is meant by lean culture is the process of adopting lean philosophy and uh, aligning your the whole organization towards this towards it is the lean culture. So if if we try to imitate the lean tools uh, or lean strategies or lean models from other companies, it will actually encounter failures. So it is un important to understand. Important for an organization to assess its culture and then understand its strength and weakness, and then adopt lean principles. Okay. So the main objective for my this exploratory study was to assess the organizational culture and understand the impact of the cultural parameters in enabling and sustaining lean. So research methodology goes like this, uh, where. It was, uh, I have taken a lean construction organization which has been impl implementing lean for five to six years and they have done quite well. And they actually have used a questionnaire, para a questionnaire. this is OCI framework, this is organizational culture assessment framework. This is uh, adopted from uh, uh, Queen, uh, Queen and Cameron's model. Uh, they have a, I mean, they have a, uh, they have a question, set of questionnaire which is, uh, which is based on uh, six dimensions, I'll explain. And then, um, I have analyzed the, uh, analyzed the uh, uh, results and uh, actually the respondents were only 10. Uh, I have taken uh, five uh, top management uh, uh, officers and then uh, five middle management officers. So the five, uh, the six dimensions based on which uh, the organizational culture assessment instrument, the questionnaire, is, uh, questionnaire has been developed is these six, the dominant char uh, characteristics, which actually means the level of teamwork, uh, creativity, and all the organizational leadership, management of employees, uh, organizational glue, that is the cohesion between the people, strategic emphasis, like how uh, it defines the employee development, uh, stability, goal setting, and all, and criteria for success, that is how you evaluate uh, success. So this is the uh, framework. Uh, this framework has these four components. Uh, that is external focus and orientation. How this organization has the focus outside business, the competition, you can say, and differentiation. Uh, differentiation is like uh, the number of levels you want, right? Uh, that is differentiation. And the, the, if you reduce it, if if there is a team like uh, two uh, two departments can manage one. That is integration. I I hope you understand. Uh, internal focus and integration. Uh, and then flexibility and discretion, stability and control. Okay, so it uh, this framework actually uh, divides into four. That is clan. Clan is a culture where it's a, it's a group culture where you can actually um, give your opinion, concern. Your concern is being taken, commitment, morale like that. And adocracy is where there is a chance of taking risk, innovation. And market culture is a type of organization which is actually very competitive. In uh, in uh, in every matter, they they need to be in the first place. Uh, hierarchy is yeah is uh, where the line of command we we have to follow the line of command uh, the documentation uh, more formal. So this is the uh, current culture of the organization. Uh, this is a case study. So this is what I found. So I could found uh, find is like uh, the values for clan culture that is the group culture and the hierarchy actually is almost same. 
so i have uh, gone into a deeper analysis which states that uh, the uh, uh, which states that the perception of different employees at different levels is different so when i have gone to a more detailed analysis what i have seen is the top management says with the top management says like uh, it's a uh, clan culture we uh, we take the consent of other people and all but uh, when i have interviewed the middle management people they say like it's not like that my organization is more demanding so there is a different perception different uh, views so and then uh, okay so this, this is what i explained okay so the conclusion uh, what i it's not a conclusion uh, this is uh, like it's a summary what i say is like the type of le lean culture required uh, for sustaining lean is not simplistic but a complex multidimensional issue so i have already considered six dimensions and more dimensions has to be added and we have to uh, do a detailed research on this uh, and different uh, present study helps to understand there are different perception about organizational culture and it also uh, highlights the need for detailed research in the area so that we can find the factors that actually uh, helps to sustain uh, lean uh, that's my part thank you